right, welcome everyone to Reef Adventure number 11. And my name is Rob Nasal. I haven't actually ever introduced myself until now. So as promised, I'm going to go over the a rebuild of the Reef Dynamics, or uh, actually more accurately, the Euro Reef um, 135, INS 135. And I ordered the parts, and it's, it's very straightforward to order the parts. Depending on the model that you have, you'll get the parts shipped to you. Uh, these parts were about $90 to get it rebuilt. And I'm going to show you the difference between uh, the pinwheel that was installed in this used Euro Reef protein skimmer. Um, and one thing, I, I kind of said that I was going to give you some advice about buying a used protein skimmer. As stated before, be very careful when buying a used protein skimmer because you can definitely uh, rack up the money in parts to redo the protein skimmer if you don't know the condition. I mean, obviously there's those situations out there where uh, you can get the um, uh, protein skimmer that somebody thought they were going to be a saltwater aquarium enthusiast and then all of a sudden decided that they weren't. So, and one thing I'm noticing right off the bat here is I ordered a ceramic shaft and two sets of the rubber bushings here. So I have two sets of them just in case I need them and a O-ring and I, I've ordered the SP3 complete pinwheel impeller assembly and that's exactly what I got. So. Uh, really, I didn't need to order the ceramic shaft. Um, it wasn't very expensive, so that's okay. I guess in the future, if I ever need to service it, I could uh, pull it out. But one thing I want to show you right off the bat. Okay, so here is the pinwheel impeller assembly. Okay, and I seen these on the internet, and they were cheap. Like, they were only maybe $10 for this. And they claimed that they fit the Cedra Powerhead um, pump, okay? Um, but they're different, okay? So here's the one from Reef Dynamics, which is the the folks that now produce the Euro Reef. They've uh, they continued the product on, but a different name. And here's the one that you might find on the internet cheaper. So, oh shoot, uh, <laughs> magnets are very strong, um, and as I said before, you know, this one, the magnet was all misformed and everything else. Uh, this magnet, nice and smooth, uh, very strong magnets, and, uh, you know, definitely got to keep them away from each other. So, completely different, okay? This, this one has a hex type assembly on the back uh, with the bushings this one it's it, I don't think it's like that at all um, it's all one piece and it looks like the same material like schedule 80 is made out of this is a semi clear material so just go ahead and order it from reef dynamics I know you might be tempted maybe to get a part you'll be doing an internet search and you'll see something that's cheaper uh, I don't know I, I don't know if this actually would have worked as well, but it comes pre-shimmed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and and assemble this and uh, and turn the camera back on. Okay, so I've decided to actually show you the way that I'm going to assemble this. And what I've done is I've actually put the ceramic shaft in the pump with the bushing on the end of it okay because if you try to just slide this whole impeller assembly in there all in one piece what happens is the magnet will actually stick to the side and you may not fit your bushing in there the way that it's supposed to okay so now at this time now that the ceramic shaft is where it needs to be I'm gonna ease this down here as easy as I can so what I did is I basically just place a little bit of resistance on it while it eased its way in there and I can tell you right now that I like the way that this fits better um, 
I'm not saying this for sure. Uh, it's unlikely that the person that I bought the protein skimmer will actually watch this video. But what my assumption is, is that at some point in time, they replaced it with an impeller that really was not the correct impeller. Okay, so once again, buying, so I'm putting these two spacers on there, and then, you know, buying a used protein skimmer, um, it's risky. Okay, so now I'm going to put the rubber bushing, okay, and on there, and go ahead and take and take this uh, o-ring off here and replace this o-ring so that's what I'm going to show you next okay so what I've done is I've replaced the o-ring on the pump end um, and just one little thing that I did is I used a uh, set of toenail clippers I used like a little swivel out file to get the old one out so just so you know, um, now that I'm doing this, I'm actually noticing another problem. There's a split right there in the case, okay? And I don't know if that's going to suck air or not. So I'm going to have to test that to see if that leaks. Once again, the used protein skimmer, bad idea. All right, so I'll uh, turn this back on once I've investigated whether or not this case is leaking. Okay, so I've determined that uh, that even though this this end of this pump is split, which kind of shows the age of the pump and the fact that the seller probably wasn't accurate when he said it was two years old um, and in working condition. Um, but the way that this works, this this actually threads into this body. So this um, custom PVC piece here. Uh, actually threads into the body so uh, that's usual that's that's actually one good reason why you want to use schedule 80 is because whenever you thread male threads into uh, uh, schedule 40 it will split like this uh, very commonly so all right so I have uh, the piece here and I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it over the end and with and have it oriented so that, and it's a pretty, it's a tight fit, which the other O-ring wasn't. So, oh, that's because I don't have it on there correctly. Um, Got to make sure it's tight enough that actually, I'm going to take it back off here, make sure I didn't undo the uh, O-ring. No, okay, so the O-ring's on there correctly, but now I've pulled the ceramic shaft all the way out, so i got to restart over. All right. Okay, so this is what I'm going to recommend. Uh, basically, assemble it like I assembled it before. Uh, put the ceramic shaft in first and then slide the impeller down onto it, uh, holding onto it so it doesn't slam down inside there. And I might be making a bigger deal about that than I have to. Uh, but go ahead and put the rubber bushing in the end of your pump assembly. And then when you slide it on there, make sure that uh, the handle is up. And then push the ceramic shaft in there make sure it's nice and square got to recenter this up hopefully this all goes together the right way okay so I'm looking good now get it nice and square good thing I'm not trying to hold my iPhone while I'm doing this I'm using my uh, high def Sony camera handy cam camera so I'm hoping this comes out better than the iPhone and that's it it's a tight fit um, with the new o-ring I can definitely tell the difference so basically I've oriented this with the handle up and with this nipple up uh, next thing I'm going to do is put it in the pump and go ahead and turn it on once again just as a reminder uh, with it only being fresh water at this time because I'm still in the process of setting up the tank it will not produce bubbles like it's supposed to okay so that's the next thing I'll do. Okay, here is the Euro Reef with the uh, repair parts installed. And uh, it seems to be working good. The pump seems to be fairly quiet. So I'm uh, fairly confident 
that uh, this is going to work out just fine. You can't go by the bubbles that it's producing because it is fresh water and supposedly the, the bubbles that it would be producing will be completely different. But I've, uh, I've adjusted the stack there and also one other thing to keep in mind that when you're buying the Euro Reef you're not getting the latest and greatest uh, design that Reef Dynamics has come up with when it comes to their uh, protein skimmers. Um, they also have uh, made a nice muffler type system where you don't hear the gurgling noise that you you might be picking up um, and I think I could probably retrofit this to be able to uh, to take advantage of that but uh, we'll see so uh, I think I'm ready with the protein skimmer and the protein tank is set up and everything's looking pretty good uh, the next thing that you'll probably see is maybe the wainscoting and also the tank also received some from beep, from uh, bulk reef supplies some rubble and some Fiji uh, dry eco rock so and it is pretty nice stuff um, I thought they were uh, pretty generous too as far as the amount that I ordered the uh, rubble here is a very good deal for it to put into your uh, refugium and then I ordered a nitrate kit and the hammerhead float and also a refractor so things are starting to come together now and I just need to get the tank ordered so thanks for watching please subscribe and also rate the video if you liked it thank you